that's not a joke anymore, is it? Welcome to Tech City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with an odd sort of video where I'm swapping out the reference cooler on an RX 480 with an Accelero version 3 to see if the rumors are true, if you can get those higher overclocks with a better cooler. But not only that, we're going to benchmark it in games and test temperatures and noise versus this little bad boy. But anyway, let's bump the X3 on there. So I had a bit of a hard time getting this cooler on. It wasn't entirely compatible with the RX 480. The GDDR5 memory was too close to the die, and so I had to actually knock some of these off to enable the cooler to fit on. Now, I don't recommend doing this, especially on a cooler that has the memory cooled from the get-go. But for benchmarking purposes, then why not? Also, it does look kind of ridiculous with this card on this PCB. But anyway, let's get on with those figures. And a quick noise test. So basically with an Arctic Accelero on there, the results were very interesting. The initial benchmark runs enabled this cooler with the Arctic to reach the magic 1400 megahertz whereas the reference peaked out at around 1360 megahertz. So we gained a little bit more there on the overclocks, though the noise was a lot, and I mean a lot less than the reference, which is to be expected given the sheer size of this cooler. Though what was the weirdest part was that after about an hour of benchmarking when playing some CSGO at 4K, which stressed the GPU 100% by the way, the clocks on both reference and Arctic coolers came down to 1340 megahertz. That is, I had to manually set these levels, otherwise I would incur a black screen or artifacts while playing. Also, the ambient temps were actually pretty damn high for this kind of thing. But unfortunately, I don't have aircon in this room. And in ways, it was fun to test things other than low ambient temps. And lastly, I know other people, especially like Jay's Two Cents and stuff, have put water coolers on the RX 480s and done all sorts of crazy. But with one of these coolers, the great thing is that they are relatively cheap compared to a custom water block setup. And you can use them from generation to generation of cards. That is, you can reuse them. Though this one wasn't a good fit, so I'd recommend going with something smaller and something that fits properly. I don't know why I'm shaking this card. I'll stop now. Anyway guys, that's about it really. Aftermarket cooling solutions, they do a great job of cooling, keeping the noise down, and sometimes giving you better overclocks depending on the ambient temperatures and also the card. And if you like this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comments section below, are you running an aftermarket solution on your graphics card? If so, what? And I would love to hear your comments as always, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye comment section below are you running an aftermarket cooler on your gpu if so what i'd love to hear your thoughts turn down the volume